Well, I finally got the right transmission. This thing set out. It was inside, but it set for a goodly number of years. These blinds are a little rusty, but I freed it up pretty easy. Uh, I've got it sitting on this roller. It's not that heavy, but I'm not that strong anymore. So I'm just going to try to try to jack up the roller and block and everything all at once. If I can just get it up high enough to, to get it onto that frame. I've got a ratchet strap there. I'm just going to wrap around the body. And I'll just set the, the pan there on the on the cross member I'm going to have to move that bottom cross member forward about six or seven inches looks like they had the motor way back um, anyway here's my little uh, rigged up lift Probably if I was fresh, I could just snatch it up in there. But I've been, I fought it in and fought it out by myself basically. And I'm kind of tired. I just realized it ain't going to work because it's going to hit the. I've got the roller under the running board mount so it's just going to have to be manually pick it up and drag it in I might put a ratchet strap around the top there to take a little weight out I think that's what I'll do and just physically hog it in yeah that wasn't too bad I got the edge up on the frame and that held it and then uh, I was able to loosen this one ratchet strap pulling it in so it's sitting right now it's being supported there by that middle bar and also the, the cross brace going on the pan I thought it might go down to the tail piece but that's it the weight of the transmission is all on the car. My uh, tie rod ends are still not straight. But uh, don't really know how much travel I'm going to have there. Looks like maybe three inches, four inches. It's probably going to take an inch to get them uh, tie rods parallel. And uh, I probably got four inches travel in it all together. I think that's more than enough. And uh, it's soft enough. I'm moving it maybe an inch. But uh, of course, I got a torque converter and radiator and a whole bunch of other stuff that goes in here that's fairly heavy. <laughs> but uh, I'm still a few inches off the ground here looks like this might be the lowest part of the car I'm about six inches five inches off the ground I need to raise this back up that made the whole thing kind of squat down 
got here as far as level yeah it's still up in the front so I got to jack that back up that'll help this but at least I'm not gonna have to do major work to the front which is pretty good I'm gonna have to get this thing down and forward quite a bit I've got uh, 17 inches from the bell housing to the motor to the bell housing 17 inches and I got uh, about 20 inches here so it might be a little bit of trouble getting in probably not I have to take this lower cross member out. If this moves forward 17 inches. Yeah, this cross member here, where it's at now, is, you know, towards the back of the pan, it's going to have to go in the front. bell housing to the motor mounts 25 inches yeah so this, this brace is going to have to go here I'm going to have to move this uh, bottom transmission mount forward 5 inches it's probably pretty low too I've got uh, Looks like a six inches clearance. So I'm going to have to re redo that cross member. But that shouldn't be any big deal. And it looks like somebody had uh, got part of God knows what kind of cross member in it. But they did a pretty good job there. Got a big uh, 5 8 steel plate for the mount. I've got a, a new mount for the transmission, and I can fabricate a bracket so a bolt can go through here. And it looks like I need the uh, speedometer housing here. This is tin foil, just I guess trying to keep dirt out of it. I turned it over there and it, uh, it's rotating. The guy gave me a, a rebuild kit with it. So, at the very least, I'm gonna pull a pin. I'm not much of a transmission guy. If it's got the rear seal and I've got uh, another uh, speed on our drive unit in the other transmission I haven't tried to move that linkage well I did just a little bit but uh, it didn't seem to the kick downs moving all right it's pretty loose but I'm not sure which way this goes to put it in gear and stuff I just sprayed it with some knocker loose to kind of help clean the rust up but anyway after getting scammed out 850 bucks and, you know I don't know how many hours I looked on the internet for right transmission 20 hours at least so now I got the zero balance converter 
This transmission, I think he said, was a 75. This is a 77 motor. They're real close. So now I can uh, clean up all this stuff. Try to do what I can to that transmission. Put it in. Yeah, the car's uh, kind of bouncing around. Just by me stepping on it. So I think we're good here. Time I get this all sorted out, raised up two or three inches, no shocks in it. Get the right tires on the front. I think that's probably my <coughs> next uh, next to do list. Get the right size tires on it. These are temporary trailer spares or something I've got some pretty nice wheels I get a couple tires that are approximately the right size make sure my brake calipers are going to fit throw two more tires on this thing and uh, then we can move on with all the rest is a tremendous amount of work that's got to go into it. Well, I'm trying to put this transmission in. Uh, took out the old cross member. And I had to let the motor down. It's sitting on that six inch block of wood there. I uh, cut me one stud. I was able to get in into the bell housing. I used a, a, a jack there on that side. Jack the pan up. So there's no way that this, uh, and it chipped my paint already. I figured that. So, gotta have the motor pointed down quite a bit in order for that, uh, tailpiece to clear that cross brace anyway I got the transmission on I got one bolt over there that I can suck it up with and uh, I'll get this pulled in a little closer and, uh, and I'll get uh, get it bolted down pretty tight The way it is now, I don't really have any room there. I might have to cut this cross member, build a build something in there. I mean, it's really going to be difficult to get this transmission in and out. I'm going to have to. I mean, it's okay here when I'm, you know, not got anything in the way, nothing's bolted down, motor mounts are loose, but I think that, uh, we'll see, I'll get this pulled in here and snugged up, and we'll see what we got. Well, that all got sorted out, I've got the, uh, the engine in of course and uh, this is right on zero which means that the transmission is three and a half degrees and uh, I did some measuring here on the, the thing this cross me is not going to work I gotta cut an inch out of the top of it and that's gonna it just be easier to make a another cross member but to the center of the 
transmission is about, oh, I'd say, you know, 11 and a half inches. And the center of this is 11 and a half inches. So this is going to have to go down because that rear end is going to be rotated a little bit. So <clears throat> this means that this U-joint will be broken pointing up. This U-joint will be broken pointing down. That's ideal. And uh, I've got that one inch bar in there. The top of my uh, transmission, it's going to be one inch below the original cross member, so I don't have to cut anything out of there. Uh, and uh, this is all going to be good. I got one bolt started, a little cross threaded. I'm going to have to redo the rethread that that block I've got a couple bad ones in it but uh, should have done that before I put all this in I didn't but anyway the transmission's in and uh, it's gonna it's gonna work with these tires and if I couldn't get this uh, low enough um, I would have had to change the tires to lower the, the rear end but I don't have to do that. So the tires will work. I still got an inch here to play with. I can, of course, jack it up a little bit. I don't know how far I am in center. My mounts are pretty good, so I'm pretty close to center. And uh, at this point, vertical alignment is all I'm really concerned about so I know that uh, my vertical alignment's good so now I can kind of jack the whole thing up jack the, the rear up put it all on jack stands go about making uh, brackets for these uh, torsion bars and make them finalize where that brace is going to go on a frame and, I mean on the axle I can weld this rear end all up so this was a whole lot of work just to get it to where I know it's going to fit but we're all good like and subscribe guys we'll keep pressing on well i fought with this all day yesterday when i was trying to cut that quarter inch piece i burned up my plasma cutter this uh big old chunk of stuff was in the middle of that cross member so back to the old tried and true cutoff disc. I got it out, but uh, I was less than four inches off the ground. The time I got that in with the old brackets, uh, I tried several different ways of putting angle iron on there. And thought about putting a one inch bar across it the problem is all of it it has to be tabs or something welded on the frame and then it has to be able to bolt to the to the cross member it, the cross member has got to be able to come out so I played with it and played with it right now I had, uh, I found my perfect angle with one inch. 
and I still got about one inch here between the top cross member and this bottom one. Of course, I got the bottom cut out there. I hope you can see that. I can weld a plate across that. But right now, this is setting on the transmissions right on the right on the cross member. So I needed a little bit up off of it. I'll probably take a eighth of an inch plate, maybe a quarter of an inch plate, space it up. And then all I have to do is get something. Ugh. Plate like that. You know, that's where the, the hole in this thing is. You know, I can mount uh, anything here. You know, quarter inch plate would be fine. Just, uh, Something that will go forward from this cross member up there. I can drill a hole in it. This will still move around quite a bit. You know, I got three quarters of an inch almost every direction. So, shouldn't be that hard to make me a couple quarter inch brackets and bring them back up here to this frame under here and maybe you can see where it's cut out there and uh, just tack them in and then I can take the cross member back out again and weld them up solid but uh, it took a little, well, quite a bit of doing there to get that set, but it's good now. Uh, the I'll be able to take two big three-quarter inch bolts out of the out of the bottom. I can use his original. Uh, he's got the. Uh, one by two spacer with a bolt welded inside or nut welded inside so the bolts go in they feel like and look like they're welded pretty good so I can uh, clean this all up I don't have to mess with the frame and I can do a good job of boxing my buddy uh, that uh, Gary that gave me the steel. I showed him what happened with my trying to cut that quarter inch steel. He's got a torch, so he took the steel back and gave him a cardboard tiplet. So he's going to cut me two more quarter inch brackets to make the back of that motor mount. And I'm going to, I don't know what's going on with that thing I I didn't use it too much it's 110 and 220 it worked good uh, but then this last trying to cut that quarter inch it must have shored out or something inside it'll turn on but I mean the power light comes on but nothing else no digitals no anything so I got a lot of cutting to make these plates. You know, I got to box it all the way to the back. And I've got, uh, I got enough of this uh, 16 gauge, 14 gauge to do. This is enough to do one side. And uh, Gary will bring me another another piece if it's not 
quite wide enough someplace I can beat that out flat but that's wider than the frame so I'll have enough steel to box it all the way but uh, I'm telling you cutting 10 or 15 feet of well it's going to be about 20 feet of two cuts so we're looking at 40 feet of cutting with grinder wheels that takes a long time especially when you can knock it out pretty fast with plasma cutter so I'm gonna bite the bullet just buy another cutter it'll get here in a few days and I can make a good job I got plenty of stuff that I don't need a plasma cutter for right now now I got to make that mount I got to fabricate those uh, control arms back there so that'll give me time I'll just order another plasma cutter they're like 170 bucks or something on eBay not too bad and uh, you know I'm probably looking at 10 hours at least to cut up all that stuff even if I had it all laid out and marked so save myself some time and aggravation and a box of wheels plus this stuff man it gets in your eyes it's kind of dangerous so I guess I'm just justifying why I need to buy another plasma cutter so I will I guess I'm gonna fill up some of these holes here Grinding this stuff and doing that transmission no good. Anyway, that uh, looks a lot better with the thing flipped upside down. I think I'll be fine. And uh, obviously, it cleared my uh, solved my clearance in the middle problem, and I can still get it in now. It's funny, you know, you work half a day on something just thinking. And these will be the, probably the, I was going to use those brackets to make the transmission mount. These are the front ones. But I don't think I'll need to do that. I think I'll just uh, run one long piece up there. Uh, I might, I think I'll run a one inch piece and. <clears throat> Put one of these brackets on each end That'll be fine. Those are plenty strong or quarter inch Good enough Anyway Press on This old mount I took off here would have worked It was kind of chewed up, but It would have worked Brand new and much better now so, press on here, maybe I'll uh, post this, it's probably about a 20 minute long video. Thanks a lot guys, like and subscribe if you will.